Chaos Theory, the study of behaviour in dynamic systems which are highly sensitive to change and initial conditions. An example of Chaos Theory is a drop of water into a still glass. If you were to take a drop of water and allow it to drop into a glass, would the water inside react the same way if you were to drop the same volume of water from the same height into the same position? That's what we'll be investigating today, in the name of science! The way that we'll be testing Chaos Theory is by shooting a variety of guns from the same distance into the same location of the human body and measuring the way that the body reacts and falls. We're also in a controlled indoor environment in order to minimise the effects of wind change, pressure and even humidity as all of these factor into a bullet's reaction after it leaves the barrel. Don't worry, no humans will be harmed during these tests as all the people that you see being shot are genetically engineered husks that have no mental capacity, basically vegetables. We have a whole team of specialist scientists overwatching the experiment in order to assure the conditions are maintained and a series of high frame phantom cameras so that we can see any alterations to the human body's reaction to the gunshots. Let's begin. Our first weapon is the 50 caliber pistol. We will fire a single shot targeted at the flower on our husk's chest directly over its heart. Interesting. The gunshot entered over its heart and exited by its shoulder. We will now repeat the test to see if the husk reacts in the same way. Okay, so he reacted differently to all tests. These results are fascinating. On to the next weapon. Our next weapon is the Uzi 9mm submachine gun. We will fire it in single shot action as to ensure that the bullet hits its target with the highest degree of accuracy and we will be aiming for the knee. Wow, that made a mess, didn't it? As we saw, the bullet entered the knee and exited slightly off to the side as though it was bounced off course by the bone. Let's repeat it and see what happens. So those results were pretty interesting, how the bullet never exited the same each time. Could this be the reason why our husks fell differently? Who knows, on to the next weapon. We now move on to the Bullpup 12 gauge shotgun. The 12 gauge fires a spread of buckshot and is generally used for hunting birds as the spread assures maximum possibility of one of the pellets hitting its target. With the buckshot spread, we'll be aiming at the centre of the chest. Oh my, that hit with some extreme force, didn't it? You saw the spread of the shot as it hit the body. Let's go again. Good God, what a mess. Again. Fantastic stuff there. Let's move on to the next and final weapon. And finally we move on to the 50 cal sniper rifle. These rifles can punch holes through armour plating, brick and solid concrete. We'll be aiming at the test subject's nether regions this time. Let's go ahead and try this on our test subject. Wow that thing is loud! And we saw the bullet pass straight through and exited through the colon. In the interest of fairness, let's conduct this another two times. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wilbur, are you taking notes? What a fantastic shot. So we have learned that the bodies fall differently with each shot. In conclusion, what we have learned today is absolutely nothing. This is a video game. Nonetheless, thank you for watching in the name of science.